So we are back for the 20th Let's Play in Flower Town. And if you've checked, I have a lovely Yoshi suit, which is new, obviously. So, luckily I don't have to hire as many me's, because... Yeah. So now we will start this lovely game of Flower Town. It looks like I've got 25,000 gold. I might get a new garden at this point. Yes, yeah, so let's invite some... Some people. I believe that I did a job the other day. So, I believe we will hear back about that in, like, two seconds. Uh, God, my eyes are burning. Just make sure, kids, that you don't play video games too long, or you'll have an issue where you'll get headaches and your eyes burn. And no, I am not talking about the 3D. Literally, your eyes burn if you spend too much time in front of TV screens and stuff. You won't notice it, like, in the beginning, but after a certain time, it does take its toll, and it's not fun. It literally is not. I really should stop inviting guests. I have more than plenty. You can invite, I think, a total of ten guests, so... And I will go to the garden shed. Hooray! And of course my camera is getting ready to die because I filmed a really long Let's Play of Warrior's Way. 15 entries. Don't forget 20 breeds. Anytime you need help, let me know. Of course, I will definitely let you know. And let's do the plant viewer's guide. I'm hoping it's the one on the left, of course. Which is the really pretty plant with all the uh, thorny things on top. Get ready. Okay, I just want to sell some seeds because I really don't have much space here. Oh, apparently I can't do that right now. So you know what, let's just go to the garden at this point. Uh, whatever. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm ready, Mr. Mendel. Let's garden with our guests. Yay! I know I did a job last time. I'm just waiting to see the results on that. I'm trying to get more view. Alright, oh, don't speed up this part. And unfortunately, this is going to kill my battery even more. Hopefully it doesn't die here. So there's that person with the Mario hat. They're watering the plant right now. Yay! Someone like that, watering plants. Yay! Ah, <sighs> some guy with cat ears. Cat lovers unite. Woo! My brother, who is a plant pal. Yes, thank you, Mendel, for the umpteenth time. Yes, I can tell. Please stop telling me that. It's so close. It definitely looks like the new breed of plant. It looks like a rainbow. A rare breed! Oh my god! What is it? Jackaluna! Wow. And it looks like this guy is going to also harvest it for another one. Um, no offense, I know people want me to slow this part down, but after this next person comes with the Mario hat, I'm just going to speed it up because we've actually run out of places to put seeds, apparently, according to this thing. So, I'm just going to speed it up real quickly. Sorry, guys, I know you want it, but... It's just not worth it if, if if I can't harvest new plants. This is a very rare breed. How remarkable. Gotta make a note of it in our journal right away. Of course, sir. And now we're making a note in our journal about the Jacko Luna, which is a new rare breed. Name for the resemblance of jack-o'-lanterns and for the so- Okay, this is definitely not a real plant. 
That is so fake. And we get the harvest results. That we'll definitely keep. Looks like another Jack Luna. And we'll keep that one as two. I can't believe you were able to grow something rare. You really have a, an affinity for plants. There are actually a variety of different breeds that are extremely rare. Jack Luna is one of them. If you find one, yeah, that would be amazing. Congratulations. Do I get a plaza ticket for it? Please tell me get a plaza ticket. Yes, I know your tip. I know. Look at the type of seeds you get. It looks like we got blossom plow, flower person here. Hi, Nick. The plant you grew for the Baron has deliver delivered. I read a, a comment card. Let's see what it says. So yeah, he wanted an edible plant, and he unfortunately didn't provide us with the seed. And we did perfect. Apparently, the Combriana was a nice, nice plant, and he gave us five thousand. No, actually, eight thousand gold. And my goodness, the Baron has given your work a rave review. He says the plant you sent has positively piquant, pi piquant petals and a rich, robust rack of leaves. Apparently, the flat fact that the petals are pointy makes them even more palate-pleasing. The Baron is so happy he decided to extend his visit and try even more flat edible flowers. Well, I'm hardly surprised he started munching on the plant the minute he was delivered. Not sure he realized that a bit of prep work and cooking might have been a good idea. I hope his stomach can handle the raw greenery, but it sounds delightful. Good work. And it looks like we passed. Foodies love flowers. I'm definitely a foodie myself, so I think I did a great job with that one. Well, I better get going. Keep an eye out now. Okay. So, that means that we have a rare breed in our case. The Jackaluna. How much does that plant sell for? 6,500. Eh, we'll just move it to the garden. We'll move it to the, uh, the plain one. Just to spice it up a little bit. Really need to take pictures and post them online, but I just don't like the way Nintendo has it set up. I'm not really crazy about it. I had a really nice setup with my Google account, and I would send it very easily, so not really crazy about how they do it now. Okay, we're going to grow this new breed plant in a basic thing. Okay, let's go to the shopping mall real quickly just because I need to get a new job. Flower power. New job list. So it looks like we've got most of them done. Paradisa family. It's got a real click kick. I really want to do the spicy specimen one because that one gives you the most money. Hospital visit, not so much. But I definitely want to do hospital visit later. Um, we're going to go to poppy seeds just because I need to sell some stuff. Actually, let me see if she has anything in the Paradisia family. The only thing I have is Combriana and Sunspur. Nymphicus. I wonder if that has anything to do with Nymphomania. And if you don't know what that means, um, I'm not telling you, because you're probably too young to know what that means. <laughs> don't even look it up, kids. Do not look up that word. Anyway, um, that looks like a rare plant, so we'll keep it. Uh, keep that one. I guess we'll keep that one. We're going to sell this one. We'll keep that one. We'll keep that one. You know, we'll sell that one. Um, I'm gonna sell this one. Sell it. I just need to make some space desperately. Sorry, gotta sell you too. 
no problem. Glad you enjoy my patronage. And let's go to pick a plot, because we've got plenty of money to buy a new land. Um, I'm going to go for the terrace, the garden. So we'll buy this nice piece of land. Which means I believe, I, I believe we'll have four gardens now. Actually, wait, um, I think I can buy the beginning one so I can get the nice, um, let's do the brown fence, actually. Because if I get five gardens, um, I believe I get an achievement. We'll find out. Okay, moving forward. Yes, yes. I guess not. I thought I did. I thought you get an achievement for... So we have, uh, how many gardens? One, two, three, four, five. And there's a little star next to my, my starting garden on the lower screen I wish I could show you, but basically it means that there's a rare plant, which is the Jack o Luna. So now we're gonna get going, because I really want to get this Let's Play done with. Sorry, Mr. Mendel. Just need to move on to Monster Manor at this point. So yeah, that pretty much ends Flower Town. Really fun Let's Play. Love the jack o Luna plant. That looks great. Um, can't wait to see what the next plant is. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to really do a job because nothing I could really do, obviously. I don't know how to get a trailing pinwheel or an edible plant that is spicy. So we'll have to check that in the next play Let's Play. But yeah, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment below, make sure you subscribe. Also check us out on Facebook, um, you know, check us out through our various social media. We have an event coming up in August, I'll let you know more guys in an event video later on, but, you know, just make sure that you subscribe so you can watch more videos from our channel. And I want to thank you so much for watching, and this is Nick Olberg of Street Pass Princeton signing out. Thank you!